After the last episode, this happened. Elliot, good. I'm glad you've come. It seems you've forgotten to tell me something. Your Highness? Yes. When did the new helicopter arrive? And how much has it cost me? Uh, um, Your Highness, that is not our helicopter. What? Uh, um, in fact, I was just now coming to report this to you. The rebel forces, it seems, have secured the services of one Mr. James Bullock, or Skyrider, as I believe he is known. Elliot, you idiot! Why didn't you say so immediately? Do you know what this means? They can just drop in from anywhere. I want this helicopter grounded permanently! Mr. Bullock lives. Shoot him! As you command, your highness. Hello everyone, this is Diffin bringing you another episode of Jack Lines 2. Last time we conquered the Jatina Sam site. And we recruited some militia there. Also, we recruited Flo. To help out with Ira to recruit more militia faster. The reason we got her, A, she's cheap, B, she has decent wisdom, C, she's useless at anything else. But her leadership is quite low, it will rise, however. Also, she does have a teaching trait, which means she's not as bad as her lowish, well, low leadership would suggest, and she will improve quite quickly. An incident occurred at the Drassen Sam site where the enemy attacked, and two people survived. Two militiamen. Yeah, it was not pretty. So we had to just rush the people from here back home. We could not afford to go and send supplies off there. But we probably could, but I felt that it was too much of a risk. Because if the Queen does take over this sum site, we no longer have control of the airspace. And our people would have to hoof it to Drassen to recapture it. And then they'd probably capture this sum site and etc. 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 This would be a very long game. Even longer than what I'm already making it to be. It's already been nearly a month in game time. So. What else is happening? There's an elite force here. Well, I presume it to be elite. Well, actually, I do know it's elite from a failed recording. And here is a huge group of 25 individuals. Hopefully, this is all regular soldiers. And even then, 25 is a huge amount. But first, we have to deal with this. Are they going towards the Sam, or are they going to Justina? Well, I'm betting on them going after the Sam, since the Queen did make a very strong and stern speech about taking over the Sams. Last time, at least. So we need to defend here. And if they do go here, instead of to the Sam, we can always meet them here. So, let's organize the defense of the Sam. Here we have three people on the roof, and here we have three people on the roof. We also have 20 militiamen. They are crappy militiamen though, so they're only really useful as meat shields, and as extra eyes on the situation. So, let's hope we don't completely fail at life. They do have... Most of them do have um, two-handed weapons, which is good, at least they're not wearing pistols, or wielding pistols. Some of them still are, but a lot of them are wearing rifles. So, let's get on with the attack. I have confirmation. We have some inconveniences to have company. So we're already being attacked. These are elites, black shirts. Superbly dangerous, as we saw last time. Although they're not above shooting each other sometimes. Because it would be funny. <laughs> I 
as always, just, yeah, always be careful with them around. They have incredible accuracy, incredible armor. And good interrupt skills, as you can see there. Hopefully they'll shoot at the militia before they shoot at me. That's what my defense is hinged on, mostly. I'm concerned because Buns doesn't actually see anyone right now. She's the one person that needs to see them to get an accurate shot. As in, I don't want to have her. I don't want to have her turn around. Unless she could probably take this person on fairly even ground. Yeah, having t to turn is very undesirable. Well, we are going to do what we have to do. Two very nice preliminary shots there. Standing by. Don't worry, Defum. As long as you don't die, you'll be fine. Okay, that's one lead taken down. Target is down. Yes. Okay, shoot at the other blonde woman. You have my attention. All right, Doctor Q is in a very, very bad position here. There are three people down here. You can see these three. There's also this one who could probably shoot at him. So standing up doesn't ruin him. I don't think I can still see those two. Can he shoot at this person? No. Alright, let's move him even further away. Opposition. Yes. Not risking the life of Dr. Q just to take a pot shot on one of them. Because I know there will be even more of them. I can't take them all out in one turn. And they can take out Dr. Q in one turn, most assuredly. And uh, let's save the action points for next turn. Just in case she does need to turn around. Damn. Good, they're shooting at... That's probably a shot at me. The good thing about elites is that generally there are few of them. So swarm tactics are potentially useful. Especially when the swarm is militia and you have actual people to back them up. Their choice of targets is random. So is the militias, but your mercenaries not necessarily. You can take out the key targets. Pick the enemies up. Yes. That is the advantage you have against the enemy. The AI is not that clever. Divide and conquer. Alright, Igor is free for now. So we killed one here, killed one here. That person is unknown. Yes. Let's try to at least wound uh, some of these. Nice one, Barry. I 
Taking them is a priority right now. When they're wounded, they hit less often. Uh, as for these two, could move them over here. Try and help out that way. Oops. Some movements are forbidden when prone, which is annoying. But I'll get them to cover here just in case they try to come around here. I find that incredibly unlikely given their easy target practice here. Yeah. But. I'm, willing, I'm far more willing to lose militia lives than I am to lose mercenary lives. I'm sure you can guess why. Oh. Yes, I feel bad for when I lose them. Holy crap! That was a, um, a shoulder guided missile. I'm so glad that was not aimed at me. But she had a perfect target in terms of militia. That is a devastating weapon. Especially against tanks. But against a group of civ civilians of infantry like that, yeah, it's gonna wreck their faces. Yeah. I'm just glad it wasn't my face being wrecked. Though Dr. Q got nicked slightly. Alright, Igor, you can see him. Can you shoot him? Not all that effectively. Now, Dr. Q, you require four to move out of the way. And that is pretty much guaranteed to be safe, that tile. Unless, you know, they have grenades, at which point I cry. So you need four. That means you can spend 12. I can move it here. Yes. Nice shooting. Right, I think I do need reinforcements. Yeah. Even though I can only see f three of them, I know there are four of them. I'm unsure as to the last person's whereabouts. Something I should certainly have been paying attention to. Standing by. No mistakes. Understood. Buns will keep here as firing support. Just in case one of them does happen to sneak around here. Trying to attack one of my two mercenaries. She is their heavy weapons expert, isn't she? <laughs> a stun grenade outright killed one of them. Okay, Barry is in pretty bad shape there. Our support team definitely going to be very useful. Is if I knew they were all coming, going to come there, yes. I would have been. If I would have put four people here, certainly. Ah. Can you shoot him? You can try. You can fail. Yes. You have my attention. You can see someone. Oh, you can sense someone. Uh, do I risk it? Nope. Certainly not worth it. Instead, let's patch you up so you don't bleed. Yeah. Okay, we're safe from him for for now. But let's okay. go over here. Schmorg is bored. Okay. 
Oh, that is not the button I meant to press. But... Standing by. Understood. Okay, let's get you behind this light post. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Barry, let's get you out of there. Yes. Bums, do you have any chance? <laughs> Holy crap. Well done. Yep, she's definitely a grenadier. She's also an evil piece of crap. Good, at least try to wound her. Because... Death by a thousand bee stings will apply. And also she'll be tired if she gets hit a lot. Tired people also shoot a lot less accurately. Alright, you can see three of them. Okay, there are three of them on the map, so we see all three of them. Yes. Guns, can you finish them off? Pretty please. It's close. And that is pretty much good enough. Standing by. Can you see him? Not quite. Yeah. Alright, Steven, you need to provide some firing support. You have my attention. Yes. No, don't heal yourself with bullets. That's what the enemy is trying to do. Ah. <laughs> Overkill. Thank you. Thank you very much. The only appropriate way to kill them. Overkill the Russian way. Standing by. Completely unnecessary. But also hilarious. Gotcha. Let's get you to here. Crouch. I think that's it. <laughs> they they're learning from our tactics. It's unacceptable. There are only two of them left, which is Excellent. You shoot, you shoot your own guy. That's just not on. Alright, unless you're moving forward. They're closing in for the kill. Which is, I guess, kind of what I'm doing as well. Yigor has been the star so far. Apart from Buns. Buns is yeah. always the star. Right, let's advance cautiously in her position. You have my attention. Same with Dr. Q. Although that goes doubly for him. Let me see. Huh. Okay, you can no longer see him, that's Actually, a very positive note. If you can't see them, a lot of the time they can't see you either. Standing by. Right, let's get there from here, just in case we can get to shoot him later on. Yes. I would, actually, I would have if I didn't move him further along. Now there's a very good chance of her accidentally hitting him instead of the target. I doubt it, but any hit on Diffin would be rather devastating. Okay, they're running away. She is getting quite badly wounded. By very small fire, but oh, but still rather effective. We have lost quite a few militiamen though. Yes. Yeah. Can you 
not see her? Seriously? Okay. Standing Take by. a point for now then. Alright, we need three to move out. We can use 15. That might freak her out enough to get her to reposition. Or that might just cause her to shoot Igor. You have my attention. That was probably a bone hidden maneuver again. Yes. But sometimes those kind of moves work. Sometimes, not all the time. By any stretch of anyone's imagination. So yeah, they're they're fleeing. Sheesh. She is. It just shows how good elite soldiers can be, and how, and in a way, how crappy green militiamen can be. They're rookies. They're not really all that trained. They've just been given a weapon and taught how to use a trigger. Maybe they've been shown how to dis disassemble a weapon, but the tactics probably not taught all that much of them. Whereas our soldiers are hardened veterans at this point. Standing by. Again, you have 15. She's still only wounded, actually. You have my attention. I don't want to move Dr. Q out. Yeah. Alright, two to go pro. That was a... not really much of a gamble, actually. Alright, again, two to go pro. Okay, that's not a gamble I'm willing to take off. Okay, she's, she's just been shot so many times that she's, yeah, she's unconscious now. She's been knocked out. Simply due to blunt force trauma with the bullets. Because a bulletproof vest might stop the bullet from entering your body. But the impact, you still feel. You still feel a lot of it. And now she's just unconscious, and she's a sitting duck, or a lying duck, rather. Oh, and that is the end of the fence. Yeah. And holy crap, has this taken so long to do. What lies there? Alright, you're a medic. He's dying, we can save him. Or she. We can save her, too. Standing by. Healthy. Healthy. Wounded. Ah, he's fine apparently. Also, did he get hit by a grenade at some point? I didn't notice. It seems like it. Because normally first aid kits and canteens are only damaged when they when you use them. You have my attention. Need to actually pay attention to what happens. And B increases medical skill. Very positive. Okay, so generally unless they're critical or dying, militia don't really need help. They can help that can help themselves. Nobody got upgraded. Well, I guess that kind of sucks, but can live with it. So, no progress will be made today, apparently. Because every battle is, especially against elites, on day at daytime. If this was nighttime, I would have been able to do so much, so much easier. Because I have night ops, I have night vision goggles. Presumably, so did they, but still. 
Night missions are easier, in my opinion, when you have the right kind of group. But anyway, I'm not sure if I'll cover what happens to this enemy force, although this is 25. It might be rather interesting to see. Especially since some of my people are wounded, and I don't think I'll be able to, to heal all the wounds before they get there. If they do decide to attack some site which should seen there right now. Although I very much doubt it's a patrol. A patrol of 25 does seem rather excessive, does it not? Anyway, enough rambling. This has been the film. And I'll see you next time. Adios. This is Daniel. Au revoir. And I'll be Daniel.